What is going on? It's Droutlaw44 here. Hope you're doing well today. Uh, so basically, bringing you another Rocket League video, uh, thought I wanted to kind of cover about the trade market, actually, and, and just kind of the recent uh, sort of addition, shall we say, to the shop, um, and pretty much just go from there and kind of some thoughts and some definitely some in-depth stuff. Um, but if you do like the video, then obviously do drop us a like. It helps out a ton. Um, if you want to subscribe, I'm doing lots of giveaways. I did one quite recently, and that might end up being re-rolled. So keep subscribed. You know, let me know in the comments if you've got any other ideas and uh, let's get into it. So let's talk about the trade market then and basically the addition to the shop. So, of course, they brought out a new garage bundle for 2000 credits. Now, don't get me wrong. You know, it's a good value bundle, really, really uh, decent. And there has been some confirmation of a few things as well. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, me going to the actual shop and just cover the items just in case you haven't seen it. So you've got a Grey Dominus, which is not bad. I mean, it's worth probably about a thousand if you're buying it from the shop. Black Sub-Zero, yeah, I mean, still pretty damn good. Black Sterns, if you haven't got like nice, clean black wheels or you can't afford the dices or anything, really good. Black Standard, I think you can literally say nothing else. It's an amazing looking thing um classic import not bad and the decal is okay as well so you know for 2000 credits of course this means it's really good value now this is the third bundle that they brought out uh one was an exclusive one with a sort of like a lime sort of poof i think it was um and then there's kind of like some other ones as well or a couple of others the athena bundle and so on so naturally the, the, i guess the main concern would be well if they're bringing out these bundles is does that mean that they're going to be bringing out like other bundles in the future well the answer is yes 100% they're going to be bringing out more bundles uh, throughout the year. They're probably, I mean, if this is only the third, I don't think they're going to be a regular thing. Um, I think the main concern is, you know, with valuable items, what is going to happen there? Well, at the moment, I mean, there's been some sort of confirmation. I mean, with the, the guy that actually did uh, the bundle for this particular one, pick some items, um, he wasn't able to pick back Dices. So fundamentally, at least on the bright side, if you are owners of Black Dices or anything like that, you can breathe a bit of a sigh of relief. It's very unlikely that those items are going to be coming to the shop. So they should maintain and hold some value like they've done before. But, you know, um, in regards to sort of under bundles, I mean, like Titanium White Octane, it has been mentioned before. And we really, really haven't seen it. We did have some leaks and some sort of ideas of it. Hasn't come into the shop. But Black Standard, I mean, let's face it, the, the Sub-Zero as well, the Painted, um, those kind of things are really going to impact the market. Now, I've already seen quite a number of things. Now, I am on PlayStation, so I do appreciate that values of items are different on different consoles and platforms. Uh, on Xbox, the prices are crazy. Um, on PlayStation, the prices are really cheap. I don't understand it necessarily, but I watch uh, Zenix videos. He's always talking about the values of things on Xbox, and it's quite surprising just how you know valuable some of those items are. And on PlayStation, they're just not worth much. So trade market really is getting hit quite hard at the moment. And if you are you know using Rocket League Garage or anything like that, you will see that uh, credit demand is going up, of course, and the item values have dropped substantially. Now, is this something that we can see hat moving forwards? Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, I think this one probably is the biggest one that they've done because, like, with Athena's bundle, it was an orange octane, orange standard, nothing that major, nothing that, you know, game-breaking, but it did, it did signify the first painted octane into the shop. I think that was probably the big thing about that particular bundle. The actual sort of items and things like that, they were not such a big deal. It was just, oh, okay, there's actually an orange octane in the shop now. Does this mean they'll bring others? And, of course, we have the crimson as well later on. So, quite clearly, they're happy to bring pretty much most items. The, the reality is, is that most items are not going to be safe. There's going to be a few, but most of them are going to be in the shop at some point. As for the bundle's value, I mean, it's insane. I mean, if you've got uh, the 2,000 credits spare and you haven't got a Grey Dominus, a Black Standard, Black Sterns or the Black Sub-Zero, then value is through the roof. Unfortunately, I have the Black Sub-Zero and uh, the Grey Dominus, so it makes absolutely no point for me. And I have actually the Black Standard as well. So I have no need for the bundle myself, which is kind of good, kind of bad. Um, but, you know, it is affecting the trade market massively. Now, the trade market has always been in a bit of a funny place. I mean, on the, the PlayStation, I think we've always sort of kind of like seen it where value-wise everything has kind of been acting a bit weird. 
values of things have dropped. There's just been a lot of like things going on that's kind of a bit, oh, right, okay, what do we do here? Um, whereas, you know, sort of on other platforms, especially Xbox and things, value just seems to be quite crazy. So, yeah, I mean, great. But, again, these garages, they do affect it. Now, since sort of Psyonix and Epic Games really have teamed up and started kind of like working it all out, I do feel like, you know, you're seeing a big, big difference in regards to, to what's happening. Now, is it going to be an easy one for trading? Is it going to be an easy one for making profit? There's always profit to still be made. I mean, you know, people are still doing it and you can't complain and fair play to them. I mean, whenever I try and trade anything um, on Rocket League, the Rocket League Garage app, I find it an absolute nightmare. I find that people don't want to buy anything. I find that people, are, you know, are very sort of stingy. They lowball you. Uh, there's a lot of things. And, and I just find that sort of a hassle. And in the end, I don't really want to bother with the amount of time spent and things like that. So, you know, with the, the trade market, the way it is and, and stuff, I do feel that, uh, you know, it is in a very funny place at the moment. Now, obviously, these garages, I mean, OK, they're not able to bring out, you know, ones with titanium white dominances, titanium white octanes, probably. Um, you know black sort of dices things like that which is great i suppose you know that is a, a bonus so those things are going to sort of maintain their value but at the end of the day you know where is the trade market going the trade market is going to unfortunately die it's inevitable it's been on the cards for a long time but they are slowly killing it off to the point where it's going to be literally shop exclusives and of course you know bundles and things like that they want you to spend now i mean don't get me wrong i understand from a business point of view uh, i do not mind you know that i mean you know i think it's a good thing in the sense of making money the only thing i've noticed and, and something i will add to this is is that i don't know um, whether you guys have noticed this but in season six especially i've found that the ball is warping a lot more there's a lot more lag um, i'm getting a lot more red symbols that i used to like the little squares the little kind of plug looking red triangle thing and the game stutters and lags a lot. And I'm on an Ethernet cable as well. Now, I do appreciate that, of course, you know, PlayStation Network is not as good as, of course, the, uh, say, like Xbox or PC. Uh, but, you know, realistically, you would expect it to be half OK or half decent. And it's a real struggle. So, you know, like from sort of investing things, they're, they're talking about, you know, having an Unreal Engine. And you think, well, OK, I'd love to see that. But is that what they're investing the money that they're making in? Uh, you know, DLCs, we're, we're getting some new DLCs. We're getting new cars, uh, you know, new Lamborghinis. But they feel rehashed of just the same Lamborghinis that we've had before. Um, and it doesn't really feel that new so you know again with the trade market i mean you know i wouldn't mind seeing some exclusive items again there's a concept ideas that i have there's new things i'd love to see in the shop which i wouldn't mind seeing and, and being exclusive and literally the only thing that we can buy that'd be amazing um but they have to be doing it in the right way and as for trading i feel like trading is really really difficult these days just because of the changes that they've made now let me know what you think i mean are you finding trading easy um you know are you just trading in game do you use one of the apps you know are you on a different platform because obviously that is a big thing as well you know are you on pc xbox or playstation or switch even because obviously they do have different values for the items now switch is a bit newer so trading is probably still quite live for example there the squares there just uh, wanted to throw that in but you know are you finding that that's an easy one for sort of trades or are you still sort of finding that you know yet again it's a bit of a struggle because obviously you know when i come to trading and, and things like that i find that i'm having to relist items i'm having to really fight for sort of like the extra uh, amounts and it is very very challenging indeed sometimes so I, i'm thinking that, you know with these garages and these sort of like parts that they're doing I really am finding it just a bit of a change. Now, obviously, you know, when they bring out a garage, I do think that the credit demand is obviously going to go up because there's a lot of people out there that are going to want that bundle. Don't blame them. It's an excellent bundle. Like I said, excellent value. Um, but, of course, then that means that the items get impacted and drop. Now, the trade market, as I said, it is in a place where I just think it's difficult I really want to see it kind of like pick up because trading was actually one of the things I really loved about Rocket League. When I first started uh, sort of playing, uh, pretty much again, just as the uh, pretty much the time when the overgrowth uh, pass came out. So probably about two years ago or something like that. Um, you know, I have to say that one thing I did love once I got into it was trading. Now, I didn't start off a, a trader or anything like that, but what happened was is I got into it and started using the Garage app. Yes, I got scammed once, which was a bit unfortunate, but once I'd learned that mistake, you know, the trading in general was really enjoyable, and, and buying and selling for profit was amazing. I really did kind of, like, get the benefits and enjoy it very much. Now, I will say that, uh, like anything... Um, 
I have seen a bit of a difference in regards to how it is now compared to how it was and how values have just changed so much. I mean, I remember so many items that were so expensive. Titanium White Emeralds, for example, is one of them. Now, I know that they are not uh, the highest item, but they've gone from 20,000 down to kind of like four, five, six hundred, seven hundred, maybe. So it's kind of tragic. And uh, yeah, so let me know your thoughts on that. I mean, at the end of the day, um, it's an interesting one. I think that these garages do make a lot of changes, and I really do think that they affect the market again and again and again. And I kind of hope that they find some sort of balance. Uh, but let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, if you've got anything to add or anything I missed, please comment it below. Uh, but otherwise, of course, uh, drop a like if you can. Uh, enter into new giveaways. I'll be doing some, and uh, definitely another item giveaway. Um, and things like that. And if you want to subscribe, it helps me out. But uh, otherwise, that is it from today's video. Take care and bye-bye.